When this bag launched, I always said that I will not be getting it but never say never. Hello everyone, my name is Amy. On this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So in this video, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. I'm gonna talk about why I ended up getting it. Basically, I'll give you my first impression review. I'll do a comparison with a very similar bag from Chanel and of course, mod shots. to reveal a little handbag that I said I wouldn't get, but I of course ended up getting it. It's actually a handbag slash SLG. It is actually considered an SLG at the LV website. And this is the Petit Sac Plat. I know that I said I wouldn't get it, but I just kept thinking about it and I could not get it off of my mind. There's something about it, it's irrational that I just felt like I needed to at least try it on and to see it for myself. And once I got it in my hot hands, I knew that I could not not have it. At least that's how I feel at the moment. And let me explain. So I've recently unboxed this really beautiful Chanel phone clutch or phone holder. They are very similar in size, as you can see. And my idea behind getting this one is that I wanted to have an LV version of a phone holder as well. I know, how many phone holders do you need, right? But I just wanted to have a Chanel one and an LV one, especially because this one is so stinking cute. Just like this one is so stinking cute as well. So I'll be doing a quick comparison with this one at the end because I'm sure a lot of you are wondering as well. And I know a lot of you are actually uh, really interested in this clutch, which I forgot to give the dimension last time. So I'm going to be giving that right now 11 centimeters across 17 centimeters height and 5.5 in depth and the dimension of this little guy here so without counting the handles 13.8 centimeters across so a little wider 17 centimeters height so exactly the same height as the chanel and 4.5 centimeters in width so it's a little slimmer than the chanel so just to give you a side by side comparison the height is exactly the same width wise it's a little slimmer depth wise the chanel has a, a little bit more depth on the bottom of course it does taper up so it does come with a detachable strap i'm sure you've seen a million reviews on this bag but i'll just chime in the vachetta leather on this bag is already pre-tanned so it does have more of a honey color to begin with. Usually when there's a bit of color already on Vachetta leather, which is untreated, it is a little bit more weatherproof. It's not completely weatherproof. You can still stain it. We won't go too much in detail about patina because I have a whole video on that as well. The date code is behind right here. Mine is made in France. This slip pocket does go all the way down the bag. I really like this slip pocket for putting something that I reach in and out a lot. You might have also heard that the canvas that is used on this bag is the really thick, very hardy canvas, which is true. It's quite thick. It's very sturdy. It's very different from your Palm Springs, your uh, basically, basically a lot of the current bags that LV now has the softer, thinner canvas this one is super thick another reason why I decided to go for it is because it is a brand new bag and usually with brand new releases the prices is at the lowest in the retail the current retail price of this one is $15.50 in Canada plus taxes of course so it's still in the reasonable price range. Of course, it's only a very little dinky bag and not everyone will have a use for a very, very small bag. But I am a small bag lady to begin with. And in year 2020, everyone has been downsizing, myself included. I just wanna bring the bare minimum out. Uh, and not only that, this is also perfect on those days where you don't really need to reach into your bag, but you still need to bring your essential just because sometimes you do need to check your phone. You do need to pick up that call. You can just hold it by the handle as like a really cute evening bag without the straps. Uh, you can even do the crook of your arm if you have really tiny arms. So it's still quite versatile and I can see myself getting a lot of use out of it, at least for the time being. Now, I know that there is the concern of it being more of a north-south kind of design, which makes it a little bit harder to reach out to the stuff in the bottom. But because everything will be so tightly packed and 
you're really just packing the bare minimum and the scenario where I feel like I would be using this is on days that I really don't need to reach into my bag that often. Here's the front of the bag and the back. So the rivets on the back are a little bit less aligned, but it's all right. Um, they're not always, always perfect, but the fact that this one is made in France, I'm already really happy about this. Uh, I'm sure eventually they'll probably start making them made in USA, at which point it's gonna be a lot harder to get one that's originally made in France. So this is the bare essentials that I definitely need to bring with me on most occasions, my phone, card holder, keys, card key, and a hand sanitizer. I do have the largest size iPhone, uh, I believe the iPhone 12 Pro Max, which will come out next month, will be slightly taller, I think, but I think only by like a millimeter or something. It's very, very minimal, so it's pretty much around the same size as this. I don't really have a bulky case, but um, I'm pretty sure you won't have any problems whatsoever fitting even the largest phone in this bag, which is also one of the reasons why I really like this. Not only will it fit any future larger phones, but it's also quite easy to reach in and out because it's pretty much open, right? The key fob and all my house keys in it. Now, now this is when it's gonna get a little tight. So with the keys in it, as you can see, it really does take up a lot of the depth so I'm just gonna push it in. The saving grace is that, of course, with canvas, it's a lot more malleable and um, there's a bit of more room to play with. So I do like to put my card holder in the pocket because I feel like if the card holder is stuck at the bottom and I, if I needed to get my card holder in and out more often, then I really do have to reach in and find it quite bothersome. So I like to leave it in this pocket here and kind of stick it more on top so that it's easier access so as you can see it pretty much stays on top because everything now it's stacked together there's kind of not really any room for anything to fall out as you can see there's still a little bit of space here which is a perfect little space for any size any small size bottle hand sanitizer right in there in that corner in fact, even if you had a much larger bottle, it would still fit. Car keys can just fit or float right on top. You can always put your keys at the bottom and your hand sanitizer on top so that if anything falls out, it's not gonna be anything extremely important. There's still a little space here. You can possibly put maybe a, uh, a mask or something just kind of very pliable, flexible. This is just a little mask, fabric mask that my best friend sent me. So you can possibly do something like this. I wouldn't have minded if it can fit my sunglasses too, but let's, let's just be realistic because it really is a phone holder size and uh, it's actually already pretty heavy with everything inside and it's so, so cute, right? So definitely check out my video on the Chanel phone holder because they both pretty much fit exactly the same amount. With this one, you do have a little bit of space left on top, but that's pretty much it. And it's just a way you configure it. It's a little bit more comfortable with this one just because it's wider. Also, what I like about this is that you can reach in and out of this just from the top. You don't need to open it. You don't have to unzip it. With this one, you still have to undo the clasp, look for something. If it's at the very bottom, then yes, you still have the north-south problem of reaching anything that's right at the bottom, which is why you would only really need these bags if you don't reach into your bags often. You're gonna see in the modeling shots that it's so adorable. You can style it with dresses, with jeans and t-shirt dress it up or dress it down. I definitely think that you can still dress this up because it has top handles and you can just carry it with the top handle without the strap. Uh, but with the strap, it becomes more casual. It's hands-free, it's super convenient. So yes, it's a bit of a passion purchase, but I definitely feel that if you're into the look and if you're into the very minimal functionality, then you're gonna love it. By the way, uh, this strap drop is identical to the Chanel one. So the strap drop from the top of here to the top of this bag is 
five centimeters. As someone who's only 5'4 on the thinner side, it's the perfect drop for me wearing crossbody. It hits right where I want it to hit. It's not too high, not too low. It's just really cute and really perfect as a crossbody bag. I also went ahead and changed into a dress so that you can see how it looks like on a less casual outfit. Both still really pretty dressed up or dressed down if you held it by hand. It would look so, so cute, right? So cute. And um, yeah, super, super cute. With the Chanel, there's no top handle, so you can really just wear it on your shoulder or cross body, most likely cross body, just for hands free now. <music> This is definitely a novelty purchase. It's a passion purchase, sort of speak, but it is still practical for me and for my needs and for what I wanted it to be, which is essentially a phone holder. But it actually fits more than just your phone, which is amazing to me. And I really do like how cute it is. It's definitely, there's 10 out of 10 cuteness factor with this bag. If you own this bag, let me know how you've been loving yours or have you found any sort of cons that you did not realize? Uh, do you still love it? Do you hate it now? Let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you back. Here's a couple of videos that you might wanna check out and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.